Hey crafters, this is Karen. This is one of those things I never thought I needed to make a video about, but it is something that people who are new to the silhouette ask regularly. So I wanted to show you how to change your paper size, your mat size, and how to set up your registration marks. So the first thing is your page settings. Um, to get to your page settings, you need to click the icon that I'm pointing to right now. It's called Open the Page Settings Window icon. And as you hover your mouse over the different icons, you'll see there's a yellow tooltip that's displayed and it shows what that tooltip, what that icon is about. So if I've been, let's say here, changing my colors, then I just click this page settings icon and it now displays settings for my paper size over here by width and by height. It shows me You can choose whether you want to have portrait or landscape selected and you can choose your cutting mat down in this area where it says cutting mat. I right now have the cameo cutting mat selected which is a 12 by 12 mat. So if I wanted to change my paper size, let's say I've got a printer that will print on 8.5 by 11 paper. I need to type in 8.5 in the width and 11 in the height. And now you can see that it's changed the paper size on my screen. If I want to have my paper put on my mat in landscape mode, landscape is horizontal, portrait is vertical. So in landscape mode, this is how my paper would look on my mat. Always remember that this arrow is the way that you put the mat into your machine. So I'm going to go back to portrait and I'm going to change my cutting mat now from Cameo to Portrait, which is the smaller machine. And you see it can only handle eight and a half by 11 paper. Also, I could choose the Cameo 12 by 24, which is the longer mat. And it doesn't show here because my entire screen isn't showing. But if I clicked this fit to window icon, it displays my paper in the window. I can zoom out to display the full mat on the screen. So I'll go back to my mat size. I can also choose the stamp mat. Now my paper is too big for it because you wouldn't use paper on that. If you wanted to not display that, you could choose custom and you could move down here and choose stamp instead of any of the other sizes. I can also choose the original mat, which was the SD mat, and I can choose A4. I can choose whether or not I want to show a print border. If I turn that off again, you'll see what happens. Let's zoom back to the fit in screen mode. and. It's not showing a print border because my page is there. Or it's hard to see is what I mean. It's hard to see the print border because of my page. You see it right along here. Watch that area when I turn off the print border option and turn it back on. And you can also show a cut border. This red line is your cut border on the paper. So I'm gonna go back to my 12 by 12 mat which is the Cameo 12 by 12 over here. And I'm going to choose 12 by 12 paper. I actually have a printer that can handle 12 by 12 paper. What else did I want to show you? I wanted to show you registration marks over here. Again, this is the icon. If you hover over it, it's going to show open the registration marks window. So right now my registration marks are off. But if I'm using a cameo or a portrait, it will ask for type one or it will display type one registration marks. If I'm using the original, then it is showing type two registration marks. If I go back to my paper size and change this now to eight and a half by 11, so 8.5 by 11, and I go back to my registration marks, and I choose 
type 1 cameo, it stays with the 8.5 by 11 paper because that's what you've selected. And these hash marks are the areas that you should not populate with images. In other words, when you add images, let's say I'm going to add this, you should not have stuff all over the place here because you need to keep your images within the boundaries of your print line or your print border, which is the red line. I'm going to zoom out so that I can see my entire image here. Make these smaller. If I wanted to print and cut these, of course there's nothing to print there, then I would need to make sure that these are small enough to fit within my area. Anyway, just showing you that you need to stay within the areas that don't contain any hash marks and within your registration marks. So back to registration marks for a second. Um, you can also move the placement of your registration marks by using these slider buttons or you can just slide the size over here. See what's happening to my registration marks and the hash um, the hashed area, the grayed out area. See if it's moving down here and I can do the same here. I can move all of my margins around. I can make it so that it's just about that it's in the center of the page if I wanted to. All depends on where you want to print. Let's say you have a piece of paper where whatever something is already printed or you've already used parts of the paper. You can use these position inset buttons to move your registration marks so that you can print wherever you want, print and cut wherever you want. What else is there? The length and thickness of your registration mark can also be changed. If you want them more prominent, if you're having problems with them being recognized maybe, you can change all of that. So I'm just going to bring these back to where they would normally B, just to the back to our standard. And you can also invert your registration marks. What that does is you see this square black registration mark at the bottom left right now. When it's in the default setting, when you're using the default setting, that's up here at the top. And if you invert it, it's down at the bottom. Can restore all of my defaults by clicking the restore default button. Then when I go to cut, it's not going to be able to because my machine is not turned on. Those registration marks will be printed because you've got them enabled here. In version 2 you could choose enabled or not. Here it's simply a choice. You either choose off or you choose the type of registration mark you want. And that's all there is to it. Thanks so much for watching.